everybody. So a few weeks ago, I did a post about conditional formatting where I talked about the best way to implement conditional formatting was using the field value option. And one of the six rationales I used for why that was a better approach was that you could use the transparency masks on hex codes. And I want to show you what that looks like. So I was working with a data set here on home prices. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to make the, the bars on on the bar chart transparent enough that I could see the map underneath. And if we go to the formatting options, what you'll see is that for the bars, there is no, there is no transparency option. But what we have here is we have conditional formatting. And through the use of field value and conditional formatting, we can actually make any element that has a conditional formatting FX option here, um, a variable transparency. And the way we do that is if we if we bump this slider up a little bit, it'll show the hex code with two optional characters on the end. And what those characters show is the the percent opacity in for the hex code. And so this is this is this Coast Guard blue color which is the first six characters of the hex code. And then the opacity is the, is the, the last two. And the opacity is just 100 minus the percent transparency. And so what we can do is we can set this, this parameter using a numeric parameter slider. And then we can set the color just harvesting the hex code from the, um, from the table. And so let's let's go with this space cadet blue and set the transparency to zero. And this now doesn't let you see the map behind it. And what we can do is using DAX, if we look at this CF bar, what we've done is just we harvest the hex code and we harvest the percent transparent value. And then just using a, a simple switch true construct. If the if the percent transparency is zero, then we just return the six character hex code. And that is with full opacity. If the percent transparency um, is 100, then we return the hex code um, with a zero zero on the opacity. And that's fully transparent. And if we if we take a look at what that looks like, that basically just makes all the the visual vanish. And so it's all transparent at that point. And then with the switch true statement, everything in the middle, everything in the middle now takes the hex code and then just appends 100 minus the percent transparency. And the other thing we can do with this is we can actually make the, the data labels more readable depending on the the selection of the transparency. So at 50% transparency or less, we're at the darker colors. And so we want to use white for the um, for the data labels. But then what we can do is using this dynamic font measure that if if the if the percent transparency is less than 50, so if it's darker, we use a white data label. If it's at 100, then we, we make it invisible. And if it's greater than 50, then we use black. And so if we, if we jump it up here, the percent transparency and lighten the, the bar color, that then turns the data labels dark. And so through this, it's, it's not necessarily the case that you would, you would allow the user to vary this, but you can set this up to kind of get your your transparency and color exactly the way you want, and then just use that in the um, conditional formatting. Or you can, in some cases, you want to give the user um, the ability to change color, maybe for accessibility reasons. So this is just one of the myriad of ways you can use conditional formatting in combination with DAX, in combination with the uh, transparency mask and opacity uh, numbers. But the interesting thing about this is with either the gradient or the 
um, the rule-based conditional formatting, you don't have access to this. It's only through the field value. So um, I hope you find that useful and gives you some food for thought and things to play around with in your own um, visuals. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.